joining us tonight from the BYU Student Athlete Building. Dax, how are you? Thanks for coming on. I'm doing well, thank you. Great to see you. And uh, how would you describe, not just for you, but for the team, uh, being part of an 8-0 squad here in, uh, in November? Uh, it's, I think just the word special comes to mind. Um, not very many teams can say that they're uh, that they've gone eight and zero or are going eight and zero, and so I just realized that uh, it's a blessing to to be a part of it. Did you have any sense, uh, as I mentioned, knowing what was kind of lost from last year, that you and your teammates had what, what it would take to you know pick up the slack and pick up where you left off in a lot of ways and even improve on what came before you? Yeah, for sure. Um, like for all the guys that were there before that, and that have left. Uh, I'm grateful for them just uh, for everything that I've learned from them. And uh, they kind of just left a stepping stone for all of the, the, the younger guys to make an even bigger contribution. And I'm, uh, I think we've done a, a good job of just uh, elevating this whole program. Done a great job. And you personally, so much fun to watch you game to game, Dax. You lead the team in catches, in receiving yards. You're tied for the lead in touchdowns. And it's not just you doing it. You've got a lot of help from a lot of guys. But, man, it's been fun to watch your progression. And, and what a great season it's been for you personally. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it's just kind of been a whole whole effort. Uh, Zach making great throws. The O-line giving him time to make throws. It's, it's, like I said, it's fun to be a part of. Kalani, could you see this coming from a guy like Dax? Just, just really happy that, that he's able to make plays for us. And uh, he, he's, he works harder than anybody else. I mean, I remember I have memories of him as a freshman just sweating more than anybody because he actually ran more than everyone and, and uh, just never questioned anything. Even if a guy was banged up, he took all the reps. And I don't think there's anybody out there on our, on our team that runs more than Dax. And uh, we have to kind of slow him down because he'll keep going if you let him. <laughs> uh, Dax, do you remember remember the early days with the program? Your early days? Yeah, I do. It was definitely a, a stressful time for me, just just getting the whole playbook down and working hard and um, trying to make friends with everyone in the locker room. But it was a it was a fun time. Uh, among, among the impressive stats you've put up are are deep plays. Uh, you've got uh, you've got eight catches of 30 yards or more, and that's pretty good, but you've got a teammate with 10. And so here's BYU with two teammates uh, with, with a ton of big plays under their belt. I'm talking, of course, about, uh, about Gunnar Romney. And as our viewers see some of your personal stats, I know you want to shout out Gunnar a little bit because he's been right there with you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Gunnar's the man. It's, uh, we joke about just being uh, one of the best duos in the country. It's just a pleasure doing business with him, you know? It's just, <laughs> it's fun to, Fun to see him do his thing, and and uh, we love celebrating together. How do you describe your journey to BYU? What got you here? What took you here? What uh, what drove you to be the player you are here at BYU? Well, if we want to take it all the way back to when I was eight years old, going to Utah camps for Kalani, um, <laughs> I knew I always wanted to play for Kalani. I just I always wanted to uh, impress him while I was there, and and um, as time went on. I uh, was fortunate enough to uh, get attention from uh, his cousin, Fessy Sataki at Weber, and I uh, had a relationship with him, too, and I knew I wanted to play for him as well. And so when they both ended up at BYU, um, I just kind of decided that I had, I had what it took, and I believed in myself enough to take a preferred walk-on and, and earn my way on, on, on this team. So I'm glad it all worked out. Do you recall those back in the day days he's talking about? Oh yeah, I remember when he was a little kid. I mean, he, we would give him the ball, and, and and I loved working with little kids in camps. But we'd give him the ball, and he would turn every play into a touchdown. <laughs> and uh, we'd give him a sweep. He turned to a touch. He was a running back back then, um, but I, I mean, he was a special player. And I remember Zach. I remember all all the little kids, uh, Cosper. All, I mean, all these guys, Dallin, and uh, so Holker. You know, so a bunch of guys that that I. Get the coach now, and they're they're grown men, and it's been really fun. But I'm I'm so proud of Dax, and uh, you know he he's he's a prolific player, humble, but uh, I know his family's really proud of him, the hard work and sacrifices that have gone into making this young man who he is, and just really I'm this is just the beginning. That this kid, we knew that he was going to be something special, and it's a, it's a lot of fun to see him make big plays. 
And Dax, you and Zach go back a little bit, and Coach mentions Braden Cosper, uh, him too. Uh, I, I think there's a photo circulating out there. Yeah, here, you, here it is. Our, our viewers are seeing it with, uh, with you and Zach and, and Braden together. How important are relationships that go back a few years in, in helping with chemistry in the current day? Yeah, um, I think it's... <laughs> oh, and then there's one. this. That <laughs> uh, that's great. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, really important. It's just, just, I think it just builds a whole trust aspect um, on the field. Um, just knowing that we can count on each other and, and then uh, just off the field, just knowing we can count on each other as well. Just being great teammates for, for everyone. Earlier in the season, Dax, on this show, uh, we aired uh, our Deep Blue feature that, that profiled you and your family and especially focused in on your mom. Um, for those that maybe didn't see uh, the feature you know, to which I'm referring, what would you like viewers to know and, and Cougar Nation to know about, uh, about your mom, what she's been through and what she still uh, means to you as, as you continue your college pursuits right now? Yeah, for everyone that hasn't seen it, um, uh, just basically just talks about uh, how great my mom is and and how much of a of a just just a positive influence she is to me and, and uh, everyone that knows her um during that whole journey it just it kind of shook everyone's uh, world including mine um but we were able to all just kind of pull together and and um uh, get through it together and she i i say in the video she kind of became my why uh, um while playing football just everything I do for her. Um, just wanted to make her proud. So, yeah. Thanks for that, Dax. Uh, a couple of X and O's questions for you before we let you go. Uh, your route running is exemplary. Uh, and, and that showed up a long time ago, how well you can run a route. Who or what has helped you become the route runner you are, first of all? And then secondly, are there receivers that you look at and, and uh, model maybe parts of your game after to say that's a great example for me? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just, I've always been um, willing to take any type of uh, criticism or, or teaching points while for running routes as I've just grown up and matured, uh, whether it's from camps or various coaches. I enjoy just learning new aspects of, of how to play wide receiver. And um, yeah, it's just, I, from any player, I, we can learn something from everyone. And so whether it's another college player, whether it's my teammate or, or the, I love watching pro guys, um, just taking little things from each and every one and just building it into my own repertoire. It's, I enjoy it. And there, and there could be younger players out there these days that are watching Dax Millen saying, I want to run a route and catch a ball like him. Uh, you've been so fun to watch. And again, it's been a pleasure to call your plays and so many more to come. And we look forward to what's ahead for you and the boys. So I'll say good night and thank you from me, but I'll let Kalani uh, take it away by giving the final word here. Hey, Dax is, uh, if you look at the, that picture of him, he's the one with the ripped shirt and everything. So he's, he's a workhorse. Nothing against um, uh, Zach and Braden that kept their shirts nice and clean, but uh, Dax is not afraid to get down and dirty. And, and he'll, uh, since he's been here, he's worked really hard and, and everything that's, that's, that's happening to him is, is, is the, uh, the fruits of his labor. So Dax, love you, man. Keep it up. Coach, love you. There's no other guy I'd rather play for, for real. And Greg, thank you for your words. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's Dax Milne. Wonderful stuff. All right.